second question consider a relation r x y where x minus y equal to 0 we have given a relation x minus y equal to 0 belongs to r cross r on set a set of real numbers then which of the following is true okay first transitive relation function equivalence relation okay let us check this function this relation type okay first we will check reflexive for reflexive relation we have to take x comma x which means we have to take y value as x so after putting it in this equation x minus x is equal to 0 so x comma x is satisfying this relation hence r is a reflexive relation now symmetric if x comma y satisfies then y comma x should also satisfy so given that x minus y equal to 0 which means x equal to y now y minus x from this equation we got x equal to y that's why y minus x is also 0 hence x comma y and y comma x both satisfy the relation so option e is also correct for transitive relation if x comma y belongs to r y comma z belongs to r then x comma z should belong to r to check this x minus y equal to 0 y comma z belongs to r means y minus z equal to 0 from first equation we get x equal to y from second equation we get z equal to y which means x equal to z to prove third equation we have to write x minus z and we know x equal to z that's why x minus z equal to 0 hence x comma z also belongs to r so R is also a transitive relation. If a relation is symmetric, reflexive, and transitive, then R is equivalence relation, and third option is wrong. Now R is a function. R should be one one or many one and codomain of R should equal to domain of R. Now to check this, we have R cross R. So we have two sets. Let us take one, two, three, four, five, six, dot, dot, dot. And another also one, two, three, four, five, six. The possible values are one, one, two, two, three, three, four, four, five, five, six, six, and so on. So every value on the second set will be used and the function codomain would equal to domain the meaning of codomain equal to domain is the every value from the second set should be used and no value remain unused here every values will be used so codomain of r is equal to domain of r and about one one or many one the this function is one one as every single element from first set is related to unique element from second set so r is a function